welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Carrie, and this is Carrie's Priceless WW Journey. So it is Saturday, March the 14th, and tomorrow's my birthday. So for the weekend, I'm in, um, I'm at my cousin's house, and we are just hanging out for the weekend. We are gonna do a little bit of running this morning, um, and then just hang out around the house. We've got some things we're gonna do for her. Um, she's kind of just gone through a remodel, so I'm helping her get life put back in place. And um, it's just nice to hang out um, and spend some time with her. So that's what I'm doing for my birthday weekend. Um, and so I thought I'd just bring you guys along for some of the fun. So we're gonna run to Trader Joe's and I don't know what else, not do too much. We're trying to practice a little social distance, distancing um, of ourselves. And so um, not gonna do our normal uh, running around that we would typically do, but um, I do have a collab coming out on Monday. And so I have waited until the last minute and need to film that today. So we're gonna make a Trader Joe's run and pick up things for that and get that filmed today. And um, just thought I would bring you all along for the fun. Fine. Okay, so we just came from the Trader Joe's and it was it was pretty busy. Like there were quite a bit of in there, but we decided we didn't need a shopping cart. We just carried our stuff with us. And they did have hand sanitizer at the checkout, so that was fantastic. We were able to sanitize on our way out the door and so now we're headed for lunch. So Saturday cheat brunch at its finest. This is the brunch combo at the Cheesecake Factory. We had the same things, but Cuz had scrambled eggs. I have over hard. So we brought home from the Cheesecake Factory two different flavors to just share. So we got a key lime, which is amazing, and a tiramisu. I haven't looked up the points yet, but let me show you on my plate. Just a bite of each. <laughs> so we're gonna let Cuz's husband eat the rest of it. She had, she had te she's eaten some of hers, but <laughs> we are um, showing some restraint here for sure. So Cuz and I are picking up her groceries at Walmart and all of the pickup spots on this side are full. No, all of the pickup spots completely are full right now. Um, this particular Walmart has 14 and they are all full. Um, oh wait, we might get a spot. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got the last spot. So that's crazy. So we have driven past two grocery stores on our way here. It's nine o'clock on Sunday morning. Um, and both grocery stores packed, parking lots completely packed. Um, it's just bizarre. It, we have spent our entire weekend just thinking how crazy this is and how we haven't in our lifetimes um, ever seen anything like this. And, um, you know, I, I don't want to be a panic person. I, you know, I don't want to participate in that um, being panicked about it, but I also don't want to be naive about the situation. So anyway, just thought I would show you all the conditions at the Walmart here. Um, 
I know there were, what, 10 unavailable items? Mm -hmm. 10 unavailable items, um, including peanut butter, jelly, all Kleenex, which that one I wasn't surprised by. Rolls, like just rolls for sandwiches. And fresh uh, fruit. Fresh Black fruit. Blackberries and plums. Blackberries and plums, can't have them. She, she was able to get some bananas and some oranges. So people weren't trying to bulk up on the vitamin C. I know, you would have thought that's what would be out of stock. Yeah. So anyway, just giving you guys an update. I'll bring y'all along today. It's my birthday and we're making a special lunch for my birthday. Um, it is not point friendly, not even close, but it is our grandmother's recipe. And it's something we used to have often before we both did the Weight Watcher journey and have lost our weight. Um, and now it's not something we have very often. It's a super simple recipe. I'll probably show you guys when we put it together. Um, but there's, I'm not even gonna, I don't even think I'm gonna try to calculate the points. I'm just gonna enjoy it today. It's my birthday and I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna enjoy it. We always think of our grandmother whenever we make this and um, her birthday would be coming up in just four days. And so we're just gonna make grandma's recipe and just enjoy the afternoon. Amber, come here, sit. Nope, uh-uh, sit. Oh, you're such a pretty girl. Can you go down? Nope, sit. Down. <laughs> She's excited. She's excited. We're home. Okay, so we're going to put together our grandma's chicken enchilada casserole. This is our go-to family meal. Anytime there was a family gathering, we were all together at grandma's house. This was always on the table. Was it not like always? Always. always. And so it's something, um, my cousin and I both were the only girls in our family as far as grandchildren. And we um, both spent summers with our grandparents. Let me let you see my face. We both spent summers with our grandparents and it was just some of the best times of our lives. Um, Amy was my grandma's favorite, but I was grandpa's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> all true. <laughs> and it is all true. Um, but this is just a meal that just makes us feel comfortable. Um, it doesn't taste like our grandma's. <laughs> We've tried for Oh my God, she died in 1986 or seven, 1987. So we've been trying for mm, 30 years, 30 plus, 30, mm -hmm. what, 33? 33 years, I think this yep. year, right? Yep. Um, to make this like she did, but we give it our best try. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she just stuck her pinky in the pot or something. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, it's a very simple recipe. And, um, you know, it kind of lends itself to the time when you just, you cooked from your pantry and what you had on hand. And um, so, you know, that's kind of fun too. But um, it's a can of Rotel. And a can of cream of chicken soup. And I'm pretty sure like when our grandma made it, like we've adapted it with the Rotel. When she made it, she just used green chilies. Um, but we've, we've made it our own over the years and we like it with the Rotel. Since we can't replicate hers. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Since we can't make it exactly like she did, we've, we've made our own version of it. And then it is a can of cream of mushroom soup. And then when our grandma made it, she used, and let me know down below if you have ever heard of this, it was called Sue B, whole chicken in a can. And it was an entire chicken in a can, it was in a big can. 
and you like picked it off the bone. And so, um, you know, that's one of our memories is being, having, you know, chairs from the table pulled up to the counter and our hands in the chicken pot, getting all the chicken off the bone. And, but we don't, one, it's very hard to find. Every once in a while, my aunt will find it and buy us all a can of it. But two, who really wants to stick their hands in a can of chicken and pull it off the bone? Um, so we've just gone to using just the Members Mark chicken breast. Dump that in. And then you just bring this up to a simmer and let it cook um, just, just long enough to marry all the flavors together. And then I'll show you the next steps when we get there. Okay, so we have a greased um, casserole dish here. And then we're just gonna add in um, just crushed up chips. Our grandma always used original Doritos, plain Doritos, um, but sometimes they're just hard to find. So we're just using what we've got. So I'm gonna put a layer of those along the bottom. The parcel bag. Dump those along the bottom. You think that's enough on the bottom? I think so. Do I need pot holders for that? <laughs> <laughs> Is it hot? It's so silent. Hold on. I probably just want it to sit down. And then we're going to. Here, I'll do this and you. I'm just gonna pour this over, probably about half of it. Yeah, it'll get mixed in. It will. And then we're gonna do some cheese. And we're just using some Mexican blend cheese. Like I said, this is not gonna be, I am not sharing this for purposes of point friendly. I am just sharing this because it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and this was my grandmother's and it's something that means a lot to me. And so um, I think those of you who enjoy my channel because of me just being my real self will understand. <laughs> and then we're going to add some chips. And the rest of the mixture. Got to come over on this side. <laughs> We're also going to throw in some of this Mexican style grated cheese. Cotilla. It's very fine. Do you use this to make like cheese sauces or something? I use it just for like street tacos. Oh, okay. And then just. A little more of this because you just can't have enough cheese. And then we're 
we're gonna put this in a 350 oven until it's just bubbly, maybe about 30 minutes probably, more or less. That's it, grandma's chicken enchilada casserole. I'll show you when we bring it out of the oven. So we just pulled birthday lunch out of the oven and it looks so stinking good. Oh, this just makes my heart happy. So I'm headed home. for the whatever that's in the way but I like to take back roads and I'm actually on Route 66 and that is the Red Round Barn. You can look it up. So I just like to piddle my way home. My husband calls it lollygagging. Um, I just call it enjoying life. I'm listening to a book. I am um, you know just working my way home. So that I would show you guys the round red barn. Okay, so I'm making my way home. I showed y'all I'm taking back roads and it's just what I like to do. I get a little anxious um, sometimes on the highway between my house and my cousins. It's very narrow. There's only certain exits. I just start feeling really claustrophobic and I just, it's kind of been a stressful weekend. Let's be honest. Um, you know, uh, I mean, we had a great time, but you know, we're both, um, you know, worried about our parents and, um, our moms usually travel on spring break week and that's kind of their little thing they do together. And so we've asked them to please be overly cautious. Um, and you know, I'm not, I hope they are. <laughs> um, but you know, they're also set in their ways and, and that kind of thing. And so anyway, it's just been kind of a stressful, stressful weekend. And so last night I was like, I better do just a little grocery order. So, you know, knowing that I was probably gonna have problems. Well, so I just got the notice that my grocery order's ready, which I'm picking up on my way home. And um, so I went to look to see, okay, what things did they not have or what substitutes did I get? And I did have some substitutes and I think they'll be fine. They were just different brand of cheese and, um, can't remember what the other two were, but uh, they weren't any big deal. They'll be fine. And, but then I scrolled on down um, to see my out of stock items. Two different kinds of bread. They don't have bread. No milk, no eggs. Let's see, two breads, the milk, eggs. And I feel like there was something else. I don't remember what it was now. So there's one more Walmart in a smaller town on my way to the Walmart where my grocery order is. So I'm going to take my chances and stop and see because I know I don't have enough eggs to get through the week. Bread we could survive without. Um, milk we probably can survive without we're not big milk drinkers. Um, but I would really like to have some eggs. <laughs> so I'm going to stop at this one last Walmart between here and my Walmart where I'm doing my grocery pickup just to see if by some miracle chance, maybe out of town a little ways, it hasn't been quite so heavily hit. Um, I'll come back and let you guys know. So we'll see. Wish me luck. Okay, 
so I'm glad I made the stop. Um, I was able to get eggs. Um, I got white bread again for Scott because um, they didn't have the bread I like and I don't know, I'm just, I don't have to have bread, I'll be fine without it, so, um, but I got him bread and milk, so, and a frozen pizza for one night, so, yeah, because I feel like this week is just going to be stressful, and I just want meals to be super simple. We literally, I didn't write it down, but I'll tell y'all my meal plan for the week. So one night we're doing sheet pan veggies um, with sausage and I do the Sam's Choice Chicken Sausage. So we're doing that one night with um, wild grain rice and we're doing hot dogs. Yep, hot dogs just sounded good to me. Can't remember the last time I had a hot dog. So we're having hot dogs with just some chili sauce and cheese and onion and mustard and just super simple. And so one night we're doing that. One night I'm making Scott his meatballs that he likes. There were no green peppers and I didn't think to look in here. But when I placed my grocery order, they didn't have green peppers. And I don't know. I just like it in the green pepper. I got other peppers for the sheet pan meal. It's just, anyway, I'm just weird with it, but it's okay. Um, so we're going to do meatballs and mashed potatoes and gravy, or not gravy, but mashed potatoes, and then uh, a frozen pizza one night, and there was one other thing, hot dogs, frozen pizza, tacos, we're doing tacos one night. So very simplistic menu plan, primarily because I just knew that this week is probably going to be a stressful week. Um, it's probably just going to, I just needed things to be really simple. It didn't really have to require a lot of thought, a lot of effort, um, and um, all that. So that is the week. Um, so now I am leaving this other little town, which was the last town that had a Walmart before I get to where I pick up my groceries, um, leaving there and headed to get my groceries. So get my groceries, get home. I don't know if I'll tag a little gro a grocery haul on here. Like I said, I got really simple, not the most healthy, Weight Watcher friendly um, meals this week, not off the rails you know, horrible, but it just is going to be what it is this week, and I'm not going to, I am not going to add the stress of how many points something, it, you know, I'm just not going to, I'm not going to add that on top of my own anxiety that I'm feeling, and not that I'm I will track this week. I will pay attention to what I'm doing. I will make healthy choices when I can. But all I'm saying is that there are just bigger things going on in this world, in my life, in my family's lives. Um, Brad works in an industry that's heavily affected by this. Amber's a stay-at-home mom with two little babies. I worry about them. Hannah and Kobe both work in areas where they are around the public. Um, so Hannah works for a sporting goods store while she's finishing college and she already does online school so that's not an issue um, but you know she's face to face with the public on a daily um, Kobe does personal training so he's face to face with the public on a daily um, so you know I'm just concerned about them I'm concerned about my parents or you know all in decent health but you know, we just don't know. Tomorrow is not promised to any of us. Life is short. I do not want to be a panicky person over what's going on, but I also want to be realistic. I want to do everything that I can control to help keep my family safe. And for me, that's going to involve spending time at home, which is honestly okay with me. I think I saw a meme. If I can find it, I'm going to put it in here. But it said something about 
being happy that um, it was going to be okay to be an introvert now because everything was getting canceled. It was something along those lines. I'll see if I can find it. I'll insert it. But that's totally me. I am fine being at home. I'm happy to be at home. We prefer being at home. Um, so, uh, so that's all well and good. I do like to browse. I, I like to go on my lunch break and browse around different stores and such. Um, I probably won't be doing that for a little while and that's, it's fine. Um, so anyway, I know I've rambled and this, this is going to be a mix mash vlog weekend of Carrie's craziness or something. I don't even know how this thing's going to come out. Um, but I have I have had a great weekend. I'm having a great birthday. Um, I have gotten messages from all of my friends and family, and I just really appreciate that. I can definitely feel the love. Um, when I get home, Hannah's going to come over. She wants to get to see her mama on her birthday. I think they were all kind of not thrilled with me. I know my my dad was really not happy with me that I was going out of town for my birthday. Um, but I just, you know, sometimes you just have to do things for yourself. And, you know, I've mentioned this before, but part of this journey has been about me learning to put myself first and having a weekend away, just me and my cousin is exactly what I needed. Um, we just, we have the best time and you know, it was very low key. We did a bunch of organizing and moving things around at her place. Um, Cause like I said, she's been going through a bedroom remodel. And so she's finally getting to move back into her bedroom. So we just had fun, you know, putting things up and cleaning things off and just, you know, we just enjoyed each other's company. And really at the end of the day, that's what this is all about. That's what life should be, it, you know. Enjoy time with your family. Take this opportunity when we are being asked to take a step back from our normal run, 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 go, 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 events every night of the week, kids practice, kids games, kids, you know, take a step back from that and just enjoy. Sit around the table, put the phones away, um, you know, turn off the television, turn off the video games, and just take this time to just be thankful to be together, you know? So, anyway, I'm going to stop rambling here. I'll probably finish this up when I get home, show y'all what I got at the grocery store real quick. I mean, like, super quick. Maybe let Hannah say hi, show y'all um, when she comes by. Because I know everybody loves Hannah. I always tell her, I'm like, my people love you. Like, they want to see Hannah. So, um, and she thinks it's hilarious. She loves it. So, I'll get her to say hi to, uh, to you all and, uh, and finish this up for the weekend. So, thanks for coming along for all the craziness this weekend, for sure. All right. So, I made it home. Went on my little back road adventure. Stopped at my extra Walmart to pick up the things that my Walmart grocery pickup told me they didn't have. So um, I'm just gonna hop into it, just throwing everything on here. I didn't take time to point things. Um, I'll tell you the points if I know them. Um, and let's just get to it. Hannah and Kobe are here for my birthday. <laughs> so they came by, do you want me to do this first? Yes. And so Hannah brought me a birthday present. It's from me, Kobe, and Dad. Hannah, Kobe, and Dad. Yay! I'm so excited. A hydro flask for my water. Yay! Anita, if you're watching, I have my fancy water bottle. I am good to go. So, thank you guys. Yeah. I love it. Perfect. Yay! I wanted one of those. Um, but in case you didn't know, I'm cheap when it comes to myself. 
I don't I, I will spend at my last dime on my children, my grandchildren, my husband. Um, but I will not spend it on myself. So Hannah always knows the things that mom would really like to have, but mom would never spend the money on for herself. So she always does good. So thank you. Okay. And birthday card from Pat in Pennsylvania. I'll open that, but I know that's from him and Bo. So thank you guys. I got it. Um, if you're watching. Okay. Hop right into the the craziness grocery haul. So Scott's lemonade, so he can drink his water this week. I grabbed a DiGiorno frozen pizza. These are really good. They're not horrible on points. I'm not, I don't remember exactly, but I want to say it's about 10 points maybe for like one fifth of the pizza, which is a nice size piece. I'm usually perfectly satisfied with that. Um, so DiGiorno pizza. Got two big packages of hamburger meat. Like I said, we're going to do tacos one night. I'm going to do uh, meatballs one night for Scott. I got Scott's bacon. Hot dog sauce. We're going to do hot dogs. I had the Oscar Mayer uncured in my cart, and I believe they were six points for a hot dog. These are uh, the bun length. So... I'm assuming they're going to be somewhere between six and eight. I'm fine with that. It's not, not horrible. I got some tuna. I was kind of filling maybe a tuna sandwich or tuna salad this week on salad. Um, I got just an Old El Paso uh, hard and soft taco kit. I don't know the points on the shells on these, um, but a lot of times I'll just crumble up one shell, throw it, you know, in with some lettuce and do like a taco salad type thing for myself. The long grain and wild rice, this is, I believe, I think it's five points for a half a cup, and same on the Spanish rice, um, so I like those little ready rice containers. Um, tomato soup, that's for the meatballs. Some of the Fiesta Blend cheese, this is just the reduced fat that I use for all kinds of things. The chicken apple sausages, and I cannot remember the points on these. Um, they're good on points. They're 100 calories, so I mean, they're a good good point value. Um, but I'm going to do the sheet pan sausage with that. Um, one of the substitutions I got was my Velveeta singles for craft singles. I don't know how these compare. I know my Velveeta singles are one point per slice. I'm not sure. I kind of suspect these might be two points per slice, but I will survive an onion some Bob Evans mashed potatoes. They didn't have the garlic that we like, so I just got the original. These are five points, I think, for a half cup. Some bananas, and they look pretty green. Um, so They were all green whenever I went. I couldn't buy them. Were any. they all green? Like worse um, than that. So they'll be all right. They'll, it'll just take a couple of days. Um, white bread, because like I said, Scott's <coughs> getting white bread again this week because they didn't have the bread I like. An onion, I think I already said that. Some cooking spray. Some salsa for taco night. Uh, hamburger bun, or hot dog buns. I, I'm pretty sure the great value is what I had in my cart, but I ended up with these ballpark buns. So they're probably going to be, I don't know, if I were guessing, I bet they're four points or maybe even, I don't know. I guess they could be five, but I'm hoping for four. I think the great value are three or four. Some coffee. <clears throat> I did swing into uh, Sam's Club on my way and grabbed <coughs> some of the Jack Link's uh, <coughs> beef steak <coughs> sticks. Uh, those are one point per packet. Some peppers, some pineapple. I send that with Scott for his lunch. He loves them. Salad and eggs, which I was glad I got eggs. Um, I think Hannah maybe already put up my milk. That's okay. I got milk. Um, did you not put the milk in the fridge? Did you? I haven't touched anything. Hmm. Well, well it's right in front of you. Oh, sure is. <laughs> I got milk. <laughs> I think I maybe already said that too. Anyway, Lay's Poppables. These are a variety of points depending on how many. Um, I think the flavored ones are five for 28. I never eat that many. I always scroll in the app. I've shown that before. The sea salt ones are definitely, you get more for your point value on those. 
And then I picked up a 30 pack of the pop chips um, at Sam's, and these are three points each. And I believe it's the same across all three flavors. And then some Santitas also just for Taco Night, my Diet Coke. And that is it, folks. Um, I had a great weekend. I'm super happy the kids are here. I'm going to sign off here. Please give this video a like. Uh, Subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I'm getting so close to 1,000. And I'm just going to leave this here that I have plans for a little something um, when I do hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. So share my channel with your friends. Ask them to subscribe. Be watching my videos all the way through because you don't know where I'm going to stick this little surprise at. And I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your weekend and a great start to this new week. So I will see you all in my next video. Bye.